The intent of this video is to unpack the documented events where B-29 bomber gunners engaged and shot down four UFOs while over the Empire of Japan during World War II. While researching archives for the channel's YouTube B-29 gunnery videos, I ran across unexplained bomber crew encounters with unidentified flying objects. The unidentified flying objects bomber crews reported observing were referred to as balls of fire, as discussed in this now declassified April 26, 1945, Japan Air Defense Section of the 21st Bomber Command Air Intelligence Document. All of the documents shown in this video are declassified. Page 12 of the document describes an encounter. The ball of fire was trailing the bomber at the 5 o'clock level position at a distance 300 yards behind the bomber. The object appeared to be the size of a basketball and followed the bomber even while the bomber took evasive action. The object followed the bomber for 5 to 6 minutes. In another encounter, as described in a July 4, 1945, 20th Bomber Command Air Intelligence document, a ball of fire was following a B-29's tail at the 4 o'clock position. The B-29 took evasive action, gaining and losing 500 feet in altitude, changing course and speed. The ball of fire was lost on three occasions when the bomber passed through the clouds. The object was on the bomber's tail when it re-emerged from the clouds. The ball of fire finally disappeared after the plane flew across Tokyo Bay. In another report, dated June 21, 1945, three balls of fire were sighted by B-29s. No wings or fuselages were observed, and one of the balls of fire came within 50 yards of a bomber traveling at a very high speed. There were over 300 ball of fire sightings by 140 B-29 bomber crew members, as discussed from the air intelligence report shown earlier. Most encounters lasted 2-3 to three minutes. Some encounters lasted 15 minutes. 21st Bomber Command Intelligence speculated the objects were either jet or rocket-propelled aircraft, sonic-controlled flying bombs, or radio-controlled jet-powered flying bombs, as discussed in this April 19, 1945, Air Intelligence Report. Although the Japanese did have operational rocket-powered Baka flying suicide bombs, they were used to attack U.S. ships, not bombers, as discussed in this May 1945 Suicide Weapons and Tactics Bulletin. The Baka carried no machine guns or cannons and only contained enough fuel for about 3 to 5 miles of level flight distance, as described in this June 1945 Japanese Aircraft Performance and Characteristics Manual. The Japanese copied the German rocket-powered ME-163. The plane was designated as a Mitsubishi J-8M1 bomber interceptor, but only a couple were built, were in the testing phase, and never deployed on a combat mission. This July 4, 1945, Air Intelligence document included countermeasure steps bomber pilots can adopt to reduce the ball of fire engagements. This includes increasing altitude and taking evasive action, or change course 150 to 200 miles prior to reaching the target. These countermeasure steps would necessitate the object needing to recalibrate its altimeter and make it difficult to home in on the bomber's sound signature at higher altitudes. This assumed the object tracked the bombers by sound. The four balls of fire that were engaged by B-29 bomber gunners occurred during the bombing raid over Tokyo and Kawasaki on the night of April 15, 1945. This image is a 65-page tactical mission report cover page outlining the various topics of the mission. 337 B-29 bombers were dispatched on April 15 at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon by three B-29 wings. The 73rd, the 313th, and the 314th, as shown on page 6 of the report. The four balls of fire engaged were shot down by the 313th wing. The bombers took off from Saipan, Tinian, and Guam and reached their targets around midnight. The route taken is shown in this image from page 11 of the report. Each of the 313th wing bombers dropped 14,985 pounds of bombs at an altitude of around 8,000 feet, as shown on page 49 of the report. The targets were Tokyo and Kawasaki urban city areas. The bomb mix was incendiary. A typical 500-pound class E-46 incendiary napalm cluster bomb canister is shown in the B-29 bomb bay. The mission was considered a success as 9.6 square miles were destroyed, as shown on page 9 of the report. 
Note that this page is signed by General Curtis LeMay. A map of the destroyed parts of the city are shown in this image from page 38 of the Tactical Mission Report. Each B-29 bomber is defended by 12 50 caliber machine guns located in five turrets as shown in these B-29 gunnery control images. Each turret was loaded with 200 rounds of an armor-piercing incendiary cartridge as described on page 8 of the report. In previous nighttime missions, bomber gunners were instructed not to open fire on enemy aircraft unless fired upon, as discussed in this earlier April 3, 1945 tactical mission report. This is to ensure bombers do not give away their positions. This instruction was not part of the April 15 mission instructions. Gunners were not constrained and could open fire on enemy aircraft that came within range. 59 balls of fire were sighted during the April 15th mission, as discussed on page 31 of the Tactical Mission Report. Crews reported objects from being 6 inches in diameter to half of the B-29's fuselage width. The flight patterns of the balls of fire included, they arched up from the ground to flight altitude and then pursued an independent course. They wandered around aimlessly. They closely trailed B-29s even though the B-29s took evasive action. They followed a B-29 for 38 minutes after land's end but were lost when the bomber's calibrated airspeed exceeded 230 miles per hour. The B-29 bomber gunners opened fire with their machine guns and destroyed four of the 59 balls of fire as discussed on page 32 of the tactical mission report. One ball of fire was seen to disintegrate. One floated to the earth in a controlled spin and flared up in explosions. One ball of fire passed through a Japanese searchlight, leaving a trail of white smoke and vapor. No description was given to the fourth ball of fire destroyed. The objects appeared to be orange-red balls with increasing glow as they approached. Total bomber gunner claims included one hemp fighter, one twin-engine bomber interceptor, one single-engine bomber interceptor, one unidentified bomber interceptor, and four balls of fire. Note that the balls of fire would need to be within the effective range of the B-29 guns, which is defined as 900 yards, as shown in this image from the B-29 gunner information file. The four balls of fire claims are again outlined on page 7 of the Tactical Mission Report. Air crews painted the nose of their aircraft to represent completed missions with stenciled bombs like shown in this image. Stenciled camels represented the hump missions completed from India to China and the number of Japanese rising sun flags equated to the number of enemy aircraft kills by bomber gunners. I could not locate any 313th wing B-29s with stenciled flaming basketballs. To my knowledge, this, the objects never attacked B-29s. Similar balls of fire objects were observed in the European theater. They were commonly referred to as Foo Fighters. The U.S. Air Staff Intelligence Group conducted an exhaustive post-war investigation regarding the potential sources of the balls of fire observed over Germany by contacting 11 Allied agencies and interviewing 13 German scientists and military personnel as discussed in this October 9, 1945 report. The U.S. intelligence team concluded the balls of fire were not of German origin. The report concludes the balls of fire are mythical phenomenon to which unusual appearance, appearances of anti-aircraft measures were attributed. It was recommended that all active search for the ball of fire origin be dropped. I don't believe this story has been widely shared to the public. I will include the air staff report in the presentation material link. See the video description for the link. Do you agree with the intelligence team's conclusions as applied to the Pacific Theater? Any thoughts as to the origin of these ball of fire UFOs?